Hi friends, once again welcome back in our educational channel that is Milinda. Friends, in previous video lecture we had studied the types of D multiplexes. That is 1 has to 2 D mux and 1 has to 4 D mux. And D mux is also known as data distributor. It is also known as decoder because the stroke because the control inputs are connected to the binary inputs and that binary input is converted to decimal inputs so it is going to decode that data it is known as a decoder so dmux that is a data distributor and dmux that is known as a decoder in this video lecture we are going to study demultiplexer ic's similar to the mux the demultiplexer circuit that is the logic circuit by using the basic gates this circuit can be assembled in IC packets in IC formats and due to which the size as well as the cost of that demultiplexer circuit get reduced while the speed of operation it is a data distribution get increased so these are the advantage the size and the cost get reduced while the speed of operation get increased that is demultiplexer IC. Other kutla kutla IC apan wapar to demultiplexers manu. So first IC, the table is now going to be displayed on your screen. The first IC, that is IC 74139. This IC, type mani kaya it is dual 1 as to 4 DMUX. Dual means in this IC there are two DMUX. Each DMUX has one input and in this case there are four outputs. So it is 1 as to 4 DMUX and this DMUX or this IC is all known, also known as 2 as to 4 decoder because as there are 4 outputs there are 2 control lines and these 2 control lines or these 2 select lines are connected to the binary input and that binary input get decoded it is known as a 2 as to 4 decoder. The output of this IC is inverted input that is IC 74139. The next IC that is IC 74155. It is also dual 1 as to 4 DMUX or it is 2 as to 4 decoder. The output is also same as inverted input. My Magas Praman is same. It is same as inverted input. The next IC from our table that is IC 74156. Same. It is a dual 1 as to 4 DMUX or it is 2 as to 4 decoder. In this case, there are two DMUX. That is, two DMUX we have been getting. That is, the first DMUX by that is outputs. That is, upon Y one, that is outputs. That is, they are inverted input. The input is inverted. And the other DMUX by that is Y two, Y one and Y two. And that Y two, the output is same as. We don't make output. We make one first time. We have inverted form. We have first time. We have same as. The next IC we have to study that is IC 74138. <coughs> Sorry. It is 1H8 DMUX. If there are 8 inputs, there should be 3 control lines. So it is also known as 3H8 decoder because 3 inputs are considered as the binary inputs. So 3 inputs converted to 8 outputs. So 3H8 decoder. Output of this IC is inverted. The next IC is IC 74154. That IC is 1 as to 16 DMUX. 1 as to 16 DMUX. So, as there are 16 output, there should be 4 control lines. So, this IC is also known as 4 as to 16 decoder. Output that is same as input. The next IC that is IC 74159. This IC is also 1 as to 16 DMUX. 1 input, 16 output, so as 16 output, 4 control lines, 4 select lines, so it is also known as 4S216 decoder. And output is once again, that is same as So that is a table of IC used as a demultiplexer in logic circuits. From this table, the first IC, that is IC74139, it is a part of our syllabus, it is a part of our syllabus. So, we have to pin diagram, pin configuration, and a two table study. 
So first of all, pin diagram of IC seven four one three nine. The pin diagram is now going to be available screen. This IC is sixteen pin DIP IC, sixteen pin DIP dual in line plastic package DIP IC. Pin number one that is strobe that is a FE that is known as a strobe input. Pin number two that is select input S one. Pin number three that is select input S zero. Because it is one as to four decoder, four as to four D mux, so there are two control lines. That is S one and S zero, and pin number four, five, six, seven are the respective output terminals. That is Y zero, Y one, Y two, and Y three. Pin number eight, that pin is grounded. Pin number nine, that is output terminal Y three of upper D mux. Pin number nine. 10, 11, and 12 are their respective output terminals. That is Y3, Y2, Y1, Y0. The next pin, that is pin number 9, 10, 11, 12, that are the output. So pin number 13 and pin number 14 are the set of control inputs. That is S0 and S1 respectively. Pin number 15 <coughs> is once again the strobe input. That is FE. The strobe input of upper D mux and pin number sixteen, that is the plus PCC, plus five volt DC potential should be applied to this terminal. That is D multiplexer IC IC seven four one three nine. Now what is the pin configuration? The pin table display that we just saw. Pin number one, magashi matla apn that is the strobe input FE that is used to make the D mux enable or disable. So it is a strobe input FE. Pin number one and pin number sorry, pin number two and pin number three are the set of control inputs. That is a S one and S zero of lower D mux. That is D mux two. Pin number four, five, six, and seven. Four, five, six, and seven are the output terminals of lower D mux. That is a D mux two, second D mux. Pin number eight. That is ground terminal. It is connected to ground. Pin number nine, ten, eleven, and twelve are terminals of upper D mux. That is first D mux. Pin number and pin number fourteen are the control inputs or select input of upper D mux. Pin number fifteen is a strobe input. That is the FE of upper D mux, and this strobe input, that is the FE inputs, are considered as a data. And pin number sixteen, that is obviously plus VCC, plus five volt. Because she means like plus five volt DC regulated supply is connected to this terminal. That is pin diagram and pin configuration. Now, what is IC seven four one three nine? IC seven four one three nine is one as to four D mux. In this IC, there are two separate individually controlled. Individually control D mux. That is D mux one and D mux two. These two D mux are controlled by its separate controls. There is separate data input. There are separate control inputs and there is separate output. In this case, the strobe input F E. That strobe input F E itself considered as a data input. So data input is connected with the strobe input and the strobe input is active low. That means when the strobe input is low. The output of the circuit becomes active. That is a strobe input, low input. This IC seven four one three nine. It is a one as to four D mux. It is one as to it is two as to four D coded because that two inputs, control input S one and S zero, are connected to the binary inputs. That is a B zero and B one. And that inputs that is a data that is control inputs that is going to convert it decimal output. And that output will appear across the output terminals Y zero to Y three. For example, if the strobe input, for an example, give a strobe input. If F E strobe input is low, strobe input low, and if the control input S one and S zero are low, <coughs> sorry, when the strobe input F E is low, as well as the control inputs are low, Y zero output. Now becomes if those strobe inputs were data input to put a zone like that, it is connected to the output terminal. That is Y zero. So Y zero pin is now becomes the terminal. That is Y zero terminal gives a low. 
समोर टू टेबल डिस्प्ले होते हैं टू टेबल को अपन स्टडी कर रही है टू टेबल में फर्स्ट देयर इज अ एफई दैट इज स्ट्रोब इनपुट और डाटा इनपुट नेक्स्ट देयर आर सेट ऑफ कंट्रोल इनपुट्स एस1 एंड एस0 एंड नेक्स्ट y3 y2 y1 y0 और देयर रिस्पेक्टिव आउटपुट्स व्हेन द स्ट्रोब इनपुट एफई इज 1 ते अपन काय अपन के तो काय झालं एस1 एंड एस0 अपन त्याला क्रॉस मार्क केले व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ क्रॉस मार्क इट इज अ डोंट केयर कंडीशन मींस व्हाट एवर मे बी द कंट्रोल इनपुट व्हाट एवर मे बी द डाटा इनपुट आउटपुट काय झालं तस अनएफेक्टेड आहे ते पण आपण काय म्हटलं क्रॉस 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 केले मी काय झालं इन दिस केस व्हेन द स्ट्रोब इनपुट इज हाय दैट डीमॉक्स इज इन डिसेबल मोड इट विल नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट द इनपुट टू पर्टिकुलर आउटपुट टर्मिनल सो इट इज अ डिसेबल मोड बट व्हेन द स्ट्रोब इनपुट इज लो व्हेन एफई इज लो कंट्रोल इनपुट्स आर 00 एस10 एस0 इज 0 नाउ इन दिस केस y3 y2 y1 remains high while y0 goes to low level that means the data input f is connected to the y bit terminal when data input is low control inputs are 0 1 that is s0 is 1 now output that is y1 is same as data input means output ka 1 1 0 when control inputs are 1 0 that means when s1 is 1 s0 is 0 the output y2 now connected to the input that means input is connected to the output terminal that is y2 so y2 is same as data input that is strobe input that is low once again when strobe input is low and last case both s1 and s0 are high so in this case y3 the data that is a strobe input is now connected to the y3 terminal and it now goes to low level so whatever may be the data that data is connected to the output terminal by using the set of control inputs that is 1s to 4 dmux and that is 1s to 4 dual dmux that is ic74139 so friends once again thanks for watching this video lecture next video lecture we are going to study demultiplexer tree what is the nature of demultiplexer tree similar to the multiplexer tree demultiplexer tree is used to connect a more output terminals or we have to connect the input terminal to the more output terminals and for that purpose demultiplexer tree is used for example the largest dmux available is it why 1s to 16 dmux so in next D, uh, next lecture we are going to study how 1s to 4 dmux is converted to 1s to 8 dmux so friends once again thanks for watching this video lecture bye take care see you again